Carl Boyer here, PNX News, on a ship in the Caribbean right now, a little west of Cuba, and uh, with Ross Lomas of GBH, the bass player who has a new book out. The tide's kind of high over here. The book is called, well, let me just introduce Ross. Ross, how are you, my brother? Four things. Really? Uh, I'm getting kind of seasick. Any drama, mean? It's a pill. It's a pill you take in America to not throw up, but I... White. It's a white pill. Do you got any of those white? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Eat that. Eat that. It'll make you feel better. Pills are good. No, he has to drive. Okay. Old school friend. PNX News exclusive. Ross is like, oh, there goes the boat again. Okay. Ross is like, oh, GBH has a new album coming out as well. It's going to be called, what, uh, it's called uh, 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 shoot. Momentum. 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 It's about going forward. Like, I'm feeling momentum of the ship right now. Uh, how long has it been, Ross, since you guys put a record out? Mm, six years. About six years? That's not bad. Okay, it's kind of a long time, but you know, hey, punk, punk, you know, it does does it whenever it happens, right? It's not like we're on a corporate schedule or any of that bullshit, right? Look at that seal. Oh, take a picture. There's a seal. With you got it. Shit, sushi. All right, in this case, fish and chips. Right, right. Some malt vinegar and all that shiznit. All right. Okay. Uh, actually, the new album is pretty cool. There's a little water flowing in here off the dock. A little water. The seals are fucking spitting shit at us. Fuck. So you throw a hat at a seal, you can't get shit anymore, Ross. So, oh yeah, kick him a kick, kick him, kick him that fucking... Us. Yeah, that was a kick. Oh, he kicked a seal right in the head. Carl Boyer reporting on a, a death of a seal. It's almost like an action report. CSI will be here to see how the seal was actually killed. But it was a killed by, you know, a, a, a boot. Doc Martin. I heard Doc Martin was your uncle, Ross. Who? Doc Martin, the boot guy. I thought he was German. Really? So Ross has been in GBH since the punk rock Big Bang back in the late 70s, and we've all been kind of there together, and it's kind of a weird scenario. It's just getting kind of the high seas are fucking. I'm too tingly. I'm gonna get sick. Okay, no. Uh, okay, the new album's gonna be out in uh, November. It's gonna be a great record. It's gonna be great. The book, the book's called Acid Trip. Where is it? There it is, dude. Awesome. City baby. There it is. City baby, baby. Okay, surviving in leather. What's that say? Okay. Surviving in leather, Bristol's. What's a Bristol? Is that like a, a wristband? It's a pastry? Pastry in England. Oh, okay, I'll go with that. I like these guys. I love GBH is one of the best bands ever in punk rock. At the better than the Sex Pistols, big time. They're a little bit above the damned, just a little, because they're really, you know, a lot better looking than those guys. So uh, let me see the book again, Ross. This is good. This is great to have you here. I've known you. Give me a little knuckles. Knuckles. All right, okay. Surviving in Leather, Bristols, Studs, Punk Rock, and GBH. City Baby by Ross Lomas. With Steve Potting, Pot, Pottinger? Pottinger? Pot, but. Okay, that's what it looks like. You guys ought to check this out. It's online. Is there a .com going on with this? There it is. It says www.brazilianpoints.com. Brazilian. Points. Brazilian. Do, Brazilian. Like they're Brazilians. A bunch of them. Is that Brazilian? Fan. What happened? Are the Brazilians out back? They're going to chase us out of here, aren't they? Oh, rebellion fest. Ross, we have so much going on. The kids nowadays are like half our age. We could, you know, they're just little, sexy. We could still have sex with them. It's wonderful. What do you think about that? The girls, the girls. We don't have to say this. I can't say that now, nowadays? It's a trouble. For like uh, uh, talking. Right, right. So we're not going to have sex with. No, 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 no sex under, you know, minors. No, they have to be 18 because they're old enough to know what they're doing. You know what I mean? But, uh. Not old enough. Right, so we, 
But just doing it with guys of our stature is kind of like a totem pole, a notch on the totem pole for these people. They're like, oh, I had sex with Elvis kind of thing, you know, oh, you know. You know. Well, Elvis is dead, but we're the new Elvis, you know. So if, like, some girl was lucky enough to be with us, even though we're twice her age, that's a victory for them, and they could Facebook post and do some selfies about it. I'd rather do it. Yeah, I'd rather do their mum. Is that what? that Mum is mom in English, right? Mum, mum, mum. Remember the pepper pot incident? Colin. Incident? Yeah, Colin, the singer of GBH, had a pepper pot. You know what I heard? I heard pepper pot means like a sexy man. Or a nice guy. Or a hap- you know, if there's a whole different thing. We're thinking pepper pots like actually shakers, a salt shaker, a pepper shaker, on the last PNX News interview, number seven, a long time ago. So now we find... on the agenda. Right. It's... Is it there? There's nothing really written down. We just look down at nothing and make shit up. But, but uh, so a pepper pot means like a... a a, 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 a hipster, right? Like he's like the one good-looking pepper pot. That's what Bur, uh, my associate Roberta Bird told me. Where did you meet Colin? And did you go? Did you guys started a club somewhere in England that you guys all were hanging out at? I met him when I was ten. Played football with Colin. You played football. Was he the wide receiver? English football, proper football. Oh, oh, proper football, soccer. Uh, or, yeah, but same thing. You know, but it's a good sport. Did you kick? I know. Shit, I'm sorry about that. But football is good. It's a great thing because you know England. We were derived in America from England, and we we were treasonistic kind of humans, like you can hear in the Descendants record, American. <laughs> Remember that treason. But uh, I'm sorry, Ross, that we left your country and told the Queen to fuck off and shit. But you know the redcoats are coming. Was your grandpa a redcoat? Paul Revere. The redcoats are coming. Remember that history lesson? That's all probably fake. It's British, not English, isn't it? Oh, British is English, isn't it? No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's the United Isles of Britain. But it's, yeah, more just the English. Birmingham's the coolest place in the whole uh, Magic Kingdom. <clears throat> you're just really a straight-up good guy. Great bass player for the band. GBH, you've been rocking with those guys. You're the very first bass player, the solid for, like, so many years. And when we were younger, in America, GBH seal. exploited... There's a seal! There's a, there's a seal's coming back! <laughs> Oh, right in the butthole. But, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. Uh, look. I didn't know what to do. It's all I have. No Stupid seal. Okay, uh, back to the thing. Uh, yeah, you guys were in high school together. What do you call high school there? Uh, seal stone waters again. Hope it doesn't hit me in the face. Colin went to a different school. Oh, okay. Right. That's when I first met him. He was playing for a different team. So you, were, uh, you knew each other and you played on alternate, you know, of opposing teams. Uh, who had the better team? We. What you called the Wankers? Maple Dean. The Maple Dunhams? Maple Dean. Maple Dean. Now that sounds. What the shit's a Maple Dean? It's a, it's a name. It's a. It was. Um, it was a school. Oh, Maple Dean School. Oh, okay. Colin so. It's a Linden Green School. Skinny little guy that Colin. Do you uh, probably fucking bu- pushed him around? Boys are flexible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever kick him? Like just out of spite? Like there's the ball. There's Colin. I'm just gonna kick him. He was on the opposite wing. Right. Right. He was right wing. Oh, he's right wing. Ah, oh, just kidding about that one. So, did you kick him in the nuts? No. Uh, the butthole. I was right. So, you f- yeah, no. so the ball. You got the soccer ball. You're running for it together. And he's all like, hey, I want to be a punk rock star. And you're all like, I'm going to kick him in the balls or something like that? No, never done like this. Well, I was far off there. So, uh, <clears throat> so shit. I don't know where to go with that. I'm not a real soccer fan. Did you guys serve hot dogs and stuff at the event? Damn. Okay, so uh, life is good. We're pretty much just having fun right now because that's what punk rock's all about, just having fun and just shooting the shit, knowledge, stuff like that. GBH.com, GBH on YouTube. Me? Football. You ever? You know what? The ball here is not round. That's fucked up. Redcoats are running. But, you know, but I'm sorry. really sorry about, like, the Indians and throwing tomahawks at your great grandpa when you charged Plymouth Rock and everybody was eating turkey and thanks Thanksgiving you know what I think that stuff's all fake Ross you know they rewrote they wrote the history books to just fuck with us I think what do you think yeah yeah it's so messed up yeah call <laughs> All right, 
we're here at the beach. Oh, there's a volleyball team. It's a volleyball team going by. It's a soccer. It's a soccer ball almost. It's kind of punctured. No, uh, Carl C. Boyer, PNX News, with an exclusive with Ross Lamas. It's a great book, City Baby's Revenge. My friends, you guys should pick it up. We try Rebellion to cut. Festival. And Rebellion Festival. What's the date of that one? On the new GBH album. Oh, the new GBH album, which is going to kick ass, you guys. The Rebellion Fest in Blackpool, England, is one of the funnest places you could ever be in your whole life. Try to make that one, no matter what country or corner you're from, in your room. Richard hung, hung himself. It the base. Ross killed a seal today. Ross, GBH. They've got some connections with their products, and their products are exceptional. Intelligent, driving, and it's something you want to throw in your mom's fucking... What? I want, you want to throw all your products in your mom's face. Oh. Not your mom, but, you know, just like children, rebellion. My mom's dead. Yeah, mine too, but, you know, it's all the things we've been throwing at them. I see how you treat seals. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, me too. Are they still alive? Are they still alive? Okay, okay. The book at bazillionpoints.com. You can get the book there. And I think, uh, uh, I think Ignite, Ignite. You can get the book in Ignite is the title of the company that sells Ross's book in a, in a, in, in Western Europe and all over out of the of the USA. And uh, Facebook GBH, if you guys like to, you know, send a like or whatever. Check out what they're about. Their music is amazing, exceptionally great. What do you think of your music? Whose music? Oh, it doesn't matter, really. Uh, no. Oh, my God. my He's playing Richard Hung himself on my tie. Jesus Cotton pushed him off the shelf. He thought he'd find a better... I'm English now. Thank you very much. Carl Boyer pretending I'm English. No, it's great to be around Ross. Let's see what else is going on. Let's see. Uh, oh, there's a mystery guitar player on the on the CD. He's. We're not going to tell you who it is, but he eats food that's kind of rancid. Uh, but we can't tell you who he is or what band he's in. So that's exactly... We're never going to tell that. Okay, not to change, not to change the uh, subject, but uh, somebody's playing uh, vocals. Drongo, the Drongos, yes. The yeah. Drongos, Drongo from the Drongos, right? Deck, deck is singing two -stroke on deck. two stroke uh, deck. It only takes that long. Tommy, oh, Tommy, Tommy Drongo, Tommy two stroke or me? I wouldn't know about. Oh, that's the other guy. Okay, and uh, the album is going to be great. Out in November, it's going to be a great new GBH record. You guys should be excited because their music formed punk rock back in the day, and now at, back in the new age of punk rock, which we'll call it. Uh, I can't wait to hear it. I haven't heard it yet, and I hear it's really good. Their music is just very, very driving and fucking awesome, and it hates a lot of everything, and and we hate a lot of everything. That's why there's PNX News, right? Right? Really? Really? Absolutely. So, uh, oh, oh, the boat's listing. Oh, I think we're coming into the harbor. All right. Feeling the warmth of the harbor. The warmth of the harbor. Okay, we're back. We're about. We're about to dock. It's been great here. We're gonna throw out the ropes and tie ourselves to the dock. It's been great fucking seals and having a good time with Ross. You know, Ross, it's a great time. It's great to have you on this huge yacht. We're so rich now, and we've got all these sailors and captains. <laughs> You know, and all these people like gratuities, and you know they're like seals and portholes and big steering wheels. So we like to be on boats. Okay, boats. Carl Boyer and Ross, big boats. Say goodnight, Ross. Good night, Ross. Good night, Ross. Good night, Ross. That was. I love it. One, two, three, four.